Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the Beginners Flow Series. This is an extension of the Beginners Foundation Series. I'll pop that link for that down below. It's a five part video series. And the idea is that you would take what you've learned there and apply it here. We are shooting this on this lovely blue color, which could represent the third chakra, which is located in the throat. I won't get too much into that, but it looks at communication, creativity, and healing. So if you're new here and you'd like to join our weekly videos, hit like and subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. And when you're ready, grab your mat and we'll begin. Hey, welcome back. So when you're ready, we'll begin in a comfortable seat. You can sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently bring your eyes to close. So we'll begin with just a, a few rounds of quiet breath. Just noticing the sensations as you send some deep breaths into the belly and even longer exhales out. Just noticing how it feels to breathe, using your exhale to release and relax yourself as we arrive onto our mats. And today we're going to focus just simply on synchronizing our breath with our movements. Not being too hard on ourselves, noticing any critical thoughts perhaps, any harder judgmental or negative thoughts which often arise in the beginning of a yoga journey. And just acknowledging that there is a process to gaining the ability to breathe and move in a synchronized fashion. And slowly, slowly over time, it'll become second nature. And inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. You can take a moment if you'd like to set an intention for your class. I can offer you one of gratitude. It's always nice just to ground your class in something and give it some direction, some purpose. And when you're ready, bind your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll make our way into child's pose at the back of our mats. Take your time getting there, having your knees spread out wide, toes touching at the back. And when you're ready, just releasing your hands down out in front of you, bringing your forehead gently to rest on the ground. And you want to just release into this posture, allow gravity to do all the work here. And you can begin to rock your forehead from left to right. Sending some deep breaths into the back of your lungs, slowly waking up the full breath. Take one more inhale and one more exhale. Inhale, come up to tabletop. It's like your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Nice neutral spine. Inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin round and press. Inhale for cow. Lower the belly, open up the collarbones, chin up. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin round and press into the ground. With your breath, inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin and press. Nice. You can release. And walk your hands to the front of your mat, spread the fingers, tuck your toes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, plank. Lift the knees, engage the core. Now, it's always nice just to start in a plank in the beginner's flow because it's just a good way to gauge the distance between your hands and your feet. Now, make sure you're pressing the earth away and throughout the rest of the class, you want to make sure that if you need to, you can always lower your knees down to the ground for a supported plank or a supported vinyasa. So, 
Press the earth away, fingers spread nice and wide. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Now from here, we can pedal the hips out from left to right. Just bending one knee and straightening out the other. Closing the eyes, perhaps relaxing the back of the neck. Allow your breath to open up space on the left side body and on the right. And when you're ready, you're just arriving into a still down dog. If your hamstrings are feeling a little bit tight, introduce a little bend into the knees and get the sternum chest down towards the toes, press the earth away, and then from there we'll slowly lower the heels down to feel the stretch. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, slowly walk towards the top of the mat, coming into a rag doll. So, generous bend to the knees, relax the chest down, grab opposite elbows, and sway from left to right. Just gently waking up the spine, allowing the back of the neck to relax. And you can release. Interlace the fingers behind your back, squeeze your hands together and send them up and over the head. Bow down as you exhale. Now, there's a difference between keeping the legs nice and straight and folding and bent. So we want to try and keep a big bend to the knees, belly pressed onto the thighs, relax the head down and from here we'll slowly straighten out the back of the hamstrings. Release the hands down, heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, draw the shoulders back, spine parallel to the floor. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, back bend, draw the elbows down and lean back. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, fall down to release. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back, hands down. We're going to lower the back knee to the floor, untuck the back toe, rise up. Now keep your hips square to the front. And inhale, arms rise up, interlace the fingers, look up. Exhale, gently back bend. Keep breathing. You want to reach from the hips out through the tips of the fingers. Gently draw the biceps behind the ears as you lower the hips forward and down. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, half splits. Drop the hips back and down. Activate the front toes. Now you want to keep the front leg nice and active. Toes pointing back. Draw back on the left hip. Feel the stretch underneath the hamstring. You can release. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward. Raise the back knee. A little to no weight on the fingertips. Inhale, look forward, lower the hips. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. Draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee. Lower the hips, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press to straighten and bow. Last time. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. You can release. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee, look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Very nice. Inhale, half lift, spine parallel, shoulders draw back. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back this time. Hands frame the right foot, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe, rise up. Shoulders stack nicely over hips. Inhale, arms rise up, interlace the fingers, look up. Exhale, back bend. Now again, actively reaching up through the fingertips, lower the hips gently forward and down as you exhale. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back and down, activate the front toes and draw back on the right hip. It doesn't matter if your legs don't straighten out, you want to make sure that your leg is active, you're almost trying to fold the mat underneath the front heel. And that lengthening and activating the front leg or the muscle is a quick way to make sure that they open up nice and safely. You can release, inhale, low lunge, raise the back knee, hands down. And as you exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten. Again, 
drawing back on the right hip, press into the front heel. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the right knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten and fold. Last time, inhale, bend into the right knee, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press to straighten. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the right knee, look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, back bend, draw the elbows down, squeeze the thighs, lean back. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, place the hands, step back. Again, if you need to, you can always lower the knees to support the shoulders. Otherwise, engage the core, lift the hips up, lift the head up. Inhale, shift the weight forward, tuck the elbows in. Exhale, lower halfway chaturanga, bend to 90. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs, knees are hovering off the floor, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, walk or jump, top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit back into the heels, raise the arms up alongside the ears. This is called chair pose or Utkatasana, which, is, which translates to fierce posture. You want to make sure that your arms are a nice extension of the spine, reaching up nice and strong. Squeeze the thighs, weight into the heels. And as the name says, fierce posture, it really allows the body to build up heat and strength. So sit as far as you feel comfortable and see if you can take one last breath into the belly. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Again, remembering to drop the knees if you need to. Keep the elbows tucked in, press the earth away. Inhale, shift the weight slightly forward, over the wrists. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, keep the elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, see if you can shift the weight forward, squeeze and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg extends up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Now, if your foot doesn't arrive straight there, that's fine. Slowly, slowly, you'll build up strength to lift and place the foot in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high press and lunge, up on the feet to breathe. So, we're high up on the ball of the back foot, nice and strong. Making sure that your hips are squared to the front. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Arms rise up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Arms level out. Shoulders stacked over hips. Legs nice and strong. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm, reach it up and back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Arm comes alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior to reach back and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, wind the hands down to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows to 90, keep them scraping your sides. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Nice. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward and squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg extends up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Again, if it doesn't step through, that's okay. Be gentle with yourself. Slowly, you'll build the strength to lift and place. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet to breathe. Again, high on the ball of the back foot, sending some breaths into the belly. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. 
Now, see if you can move with your breath. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm, reach it up and over. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend to the left knee. Arm reaches up and over. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill the hands down. And step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows, squeeze them in. Inhale, up, go, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Nice. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, fall down to release. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sit back, arms up, and breathe. Again, see if you can squeeze the thighs, and you want to be able to see your toes just over the tips of your knees. Arms nice and straight. Keep breathing into the belly. Exhale, release, to fold. Inhale, half lift, to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Again, remembering if you need to, you can lower the knees. Inhale, shift the weight slightly forward, lift the hips up. Exhale, chop the rung, lower halfway, bring the chest down. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Nice. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, ripple forward, squeeze, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, up on the feet. To breathe. Inhale, to lift up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Again, noticing the sensations of the movement. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and over. Exhale, extended side, little to no weight in the front knee, arm comes alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior to reach back and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill the hands down and step back to plank. Almost there. Inhale, shift the weight slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels. Down. Inhale. Three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, foot comes in between the hands. Inhale, rise, up on the feet, high crescent lunge, to breathe. Notice your hips, make sure they're square to the front. See if your front heel is behind the front knee, and if so, you're going to move the heel slightly forward. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Shoulders relaxed down, arms nice and strong. With your breath, inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee, arm reaches alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend the left leg, arm reaches up and over, if you will stretch along the side. Exhale, Chaturanga for the last time. Step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows, drop the chest down. Inhale, up dog. Roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Well done. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, step to a seat. And extend the legs out in front of you. Find a nice comfortable position. See if you can get onto the front of your sitting bones. Perhaps you need to remove the flesh. And we're going to start off with some bent knees. And you want to keep your thigh pressed onto your belly. Now, you've got some options. You can either take your hands behind your legs, squeeze your thighs, and keep your chest out, spine nice and straight. Or you can take all of your calves, or your feet, or your toes. So I like to do the feet. And from here, you're going to inhale, straighten the spine, belly press onto your thighs. And as you exhale, slowly walk your sitting bones back until you find a sweet spot. I 
like mine around here and you want to make sure again to engage your belly pressed against the thighs lifting the chest forward and through again and slowly breathe noticing any sensations around the breath and again it's in these moments of stillness that you want to try your best to take account for every breath really strengthen your concentration and your ability to hold focus and if you feel your hamstrings are opening up you can always walk them back just a little bit more again this is a nice slow process you don't want to rush this and you can release inhale to roll up exhale to lower down gently onto your back I'm going to draw the right knee to your chest for a recline wind remover, making sure that both feet are nice and active. Tuck the chin. Now, if you need to, you can always close the eyes for the remainder of the class. Allowing your exhale to slowly wind us down to the floor. And you can release over into supine twist. So with the bent knee, drop it over to the left side. Raise your right arm up alongside your ear, up beside you, and look over the right shoulder for a nice spinal twist. And release, draw the right knee to your chest, give yourself a good squeeze. And we're going to switch it up with the left. So left knee draws in, activate both toes, and gently draw the left knee towards the left armpit. Again. Trying to lengthen up the back of the neck, keep the spine flat on the floor, shoulders back and down. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release into supine twist. Right knee drops over to the, sorry, left knee drops over to the right side, look over the left shoulder and gently lower the leg down, feeling a twist along the spine. Using your exhale to gently release and relax into the posture. Nice, and release. I'm going to draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze and see if you can draw the knees out wide. So if this is enough and this feels good, you can stay right here. If you'd like a little bit more, you can raise the heels up to the sky, take hold of the outer blades of the feet, and lower down into happy baby. So have a look at your hands, grab the outer blades of the feet. Your hands, your knees are coming out wide. Again, tucking the chin, drawing the shoulders down to the ground. And if you'd like to, you can add a gentle rock from left to right. And I remember when I started practicing yoga, this was very uncomfortable. And even when I'm feeling slightly stiff or tight, this is also a great stretch. That's for posture and spine lengthening. As you exhale gently, release the hips down, allowing the shoulders to melt down to the floor. Around, give yourself a good squeeze as you inhale raise your forehead up towards your knees take a moment just to reconnect with the intention that you set at the beginning of the class take one more breath in exhale release into shasana well done you can have your toes out heels in palms facing up and when you're ready you can commit to stillness take a deep breath in Open mouth, exhale, to release. One more time. Nice slow breath in through the nose, belly rises. Exhale, release and relax. Well done. We'll take a few rounds of mindful breath just to let our practice soak in, enjoy the fruits of our labor. And the idea here is to lie completely still, see if you can 
Keep your attention returning to the sensations of your breath. Allow your exhales to be slightly longer than your inhales. And you want to use your exhale to release and let go of all tension. And in the beginning this may seem quite frustrating or pointless or really hard. That's okay. Gently, gently, you'll see that the, your ability to hold your focus on your breath becomes stronger and the gaps between your thoughts will widen and the mind will quieten. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. Just remember to slowly wake the body when you're ready. And thanks again for joining. And I'll see you next week on your mats. Namaste.